Hi guys, how are you? It's Danielle from bestproducts.com. We're super excited to have Red Thread Good Coffee in the house today. We're gonna to be doing some um, some cold brew tasting for summer weather. Um, I'm super excited to introduce Ida. Thank you so much for being Thanks here. Thanks for having us, Danielle. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. And Holly as well. Thank you for being yeah. there. Thank you. Um, so tell us a little bit about this brand for uh, people who might not be familiar with cold brew in general and specifically with Red Thread Good. Sure, sure, glad to. Thanks. So Red Thread Good is an amazing coffee company. We make amazing coffees. Coffees that you can buy that are cold brewed and prepared for you and ready to drink or concentrate. And we also uh, offer coffees that you can brew hot. And we, we sell coffees in consumer um, markets and grocery stores and premium markets. We also have them in, uh, in big offices around the city and, and soon around the country. Um, and we're really, really excited to be with you. All of our coffees are organic and local. And when I say local, um, there's a couple things that are special about that. We, we roast our beans locally. We select them from around the world and they're fair trade. Um, and then we brew, cold brew, locally where we operate. So these coffees are made just a few miles from New York City. Okay. Um, and this is our ready to drink cold brew. Okay. <laughs> Awesome. And where where did you say? I know you said it's close to New York City. Where exactly are you guys brewing? We, yeah, we roast in um, with company two roasters that are in Long Island City. We're really focused um, on expanding our our uh, single origin coffees, especially. Okay. We do have single origins, which is that one here, and then um, we also do blends that are very subtly flavored for. Um, for grown-ups, as we like to say, <laughs> for the adult palate. <laughs> yeah. um, I won't name brands that flavor otherwise, but right. <laughs> we, we flavor for the coffee aficionado. Right. And, um, and, and then we brew locally. The, the cold brew right now we make in, in uh, New Jersey, in central New Jersey. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. So we're, we're um, the other thing about us that in terms of local is we give back locally. That's a big part of what Red Thread is. And in fact, okay. we all have our little red threads on and, yep. and we'd be happy to tell you how to get one. We'll do that before we wrap, okay? Awesome, yeah. Um, so we, the legend of the Red Thread, uh, which was um, chosen by one of our founders who's who's really in the, in the business every single day with all we do, um, chose the name because the idea is there's, there's a legend in the Far East that's not specific to any culture or any tradition um, is the way that we, when we call up the Red Thread legend, we're talking about a thread that gets tied to your ankle when you're born and it connects you to all the people in your lifetime that you help. Yeah. And the idea is that with each coffee, which is an everyday product, most of us drink, you know, many of us drink coffee every day. Right. Um, <laughs> if you don't yet, come on. <laughs> I don't know how you It's don't. really yeah. good for you. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Who are these people? Who are these people that are not drinking? <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, it's good for you, and, and I'll say, I'd love to say a little bit more about that, but the idea is with each coffee that you buy from us, for every serving that we sell, we give back locally for hunger relief. Um, in New York City, we give back locally to an organization called God's Love We Deliver. It started in the 80s and um, specifically focused on AIDS, but now they service people with Alzheimer's and cancer, and they have no waiting list. I mean, it's this amazing organization in hunger relief. And we're working with another organization in the Hamptons and each local market that we expand to, um, we partner with a charity and give back every time someone buys the coffee. Incredible. So it's integral to our brand, really. Incredible. How lucky yeah. are we to have you guys close by then? Thank you. Um, Thank you. And so as far as purchasing, like how can you can you buy these concentrates in store? Sure. Can you buy them online? Like how, yes. would, the, how would your everyday consumer get their hands on this? Sure. So definitely store. So we're in the tri-state area of New York City right now in about um, 175 stores okay. and some markets I'll name Westchester, um, DeCecos and, and Mrs. Green's in the city in um, Union Market, Whole Foods, gotcha. um, a lot of what, uh, you know, smaller markets, gourmet markets, Garden of Eden, we're just about to go into Fairway, which is really exciting. Oh, awesome, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. And then out in the Hamptons, um, we're, we started, and I'd love to talk a little bit about that, we started in a store called Silco, which is actually where I met Holly. Mm -hmm. okay. Holly's been working with the coffee for a long yeah. time, and yeah. she's going to show you a little bit about how how you make it and how you make it work um, and make it best, make it the way you like it. Yeah. Um, and uh, and then, you know, in the Hamptons, we're in many, many markets out there, um, in, especially as the summer um, kicks off. This is just, a, many people drink coffee actually cold brew year round. Yep. In the summer, more and more people drink cold, you know, drink iced coffee. Yeah. This is an extraordinarily um, better iced coffee than what you would buy that's brewed hot. Okay. Um, and then brought down and to you know to put on ice. So maybe some some uh, consumers might not understand that cold brew is its own animal versus yeah. like yeah. Uh, you know like 
a nice coffee that you would get in, in another um, major coffee shop. Sure. So like, there sure. really is a profound difference in taste. Yeah, and I, in yeah, taste. totally. <clears throat> Excuse me, I love coffee actually. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm tell you that story. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you want to pour a little for yeah, us? Yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll tell, tell the story. Well, while you do that. Stuff. Yeah, so the, so the biggest difference, I would say, for with if you haven't had cold brew, I know it's kind of now it's expanding. You can find it in a lot of places. But yep. Yep. the biggest thing you notice when you have cold brew as opposed to just a regular iced coffee that's like super super strong, burnt, probably old coffee yep. <laughs> that you pour over ice. Mm, is that, appetizing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> is that um, there's. I think it's something like 75% less acid in a cold brew okay. coffee. Oh, yeah. wow. So you, know, you. can do that. You. So I'm, so Ida's drinking the, um, the ready-to-drink bottle. Okay. So this one is a kind of perfectly balanced bottle. We sell it in the concentrate as well, which Thank you. you can do whatever you want with, basically. Some people just pour it over ice. They like it really strong. Okay. You can do it one part um, milk, almond milk, dairy milk, however you like it, okay. or one part water. Um, we'll get to, to this in a minute. Yeah. This is not <laughs> yeah. fun to watch. Yeah. That's, that's, really that's, that's the fun. That's the one. The fun um, kicks. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> that's the, that we ended. Yeah. <laughs> but cold brew is basically just kind of a quick overview. You you slow brew it in cold water okay. for twelve hours. So it's kind of a slow artisanal process. It's a little bit labor intensive, but it's totally worth it. It's really smooth. Um, and I would say somebody who maybe doesn't like coffee because it's kind of a sharp taste, or sure. um, maybe it's hard on your stomach, or it's hard on your voice. Um, the cold brew is a whole other ball game. So um, let me ask. So sure. I'm that person who does not drink, who drinks coffee every day, does not like hot coffee at all. Right. I make iced coffee every day, but I feel like I'm failing because A, I've <laughs> never had cold press before, so I'm legit yeah, excited gosh, to try yeah. it. And B, I have like one of those, you know, nondescript personal home brewing systems for an individual person <laughs> so I do the hot coffee over ice which then melts it sure. yeah. then you have to put more ice because now you've melted and sure, sure. I mean I do that because I'm like the cave person so am I doing it wrong is this the better way to do it if, I, if you're like an iced coffee oh, this is so, it's it's a amazing. great question so I, need try, question. I need to try I need to try it yeah. I'm like I'm somebody come and feed this <laughs> To me, via the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Just an IV for you. Yeah. You know yeah. But I think so. Um, the the best thing about these. So this is the this is the smaller bottle of concentrate. Mm -hmm. We do a 32 ounce um, concentrate. That's the same thing. So basically, this is just a concentrated brew of coffee. Mm -hmm. um, so what you would do, you keep this in your fridge, take it out and pour it over the ice. If you like it strong, mm -hmm. you really just need the concentrate. You can add a little bit of water. If you like it super balanced, one part water to one part concentrate. That's usually what we recommend for just a standard cup of iced coffee. Okay. Um, or you can pour it over the ice with some milk. And if you did like hot coffee, yeah, you, you, could use, you could use boiling water. Could use um, milk. Yeah, so if we mix it with almond milk, you'll see it's a really super nice color. Oh, and that's because I can't do really dairy, so. So yeah, we could yeah, do it. You're course. singing you my song. almond milk, right. We happen to like this one a lot. Yum. New Barn. I don't know if you guys know them. This is no. unsweetened and un, um, unflavored. Can but I yeah. try it? Yeah, that's all Go you. for it. Good luck. <laughs> Cheers. 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 All right. Cheers. Now, you, now you're just gonna have to like listen to my reactions. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. I'm gonna take a sip. Is this is this Ooh. like a, is this a thing? That not even know? to be fake, and but this is insanely <laughs> yeah. good. Yeah, it's not even like mmm, like you know those people. I, I can't when you see them on TV. Everything's like mmm, it's so good. This legitimately is awesome. wow. So Danielle has the dreamy, um, which wow. is a hint of chocolate. It's not oh, sweet, yeah. not extra calories. Which so one was I, I drinking? That. That is the dreamy, dreamy as well. well. Okay, it tasted a little like a little yeah, wow. And you're not adding sugar or mm -hmm. anything like that, so yep. you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. And there's no that's nothing tasty. artificial in anything that wow that we make. So. That's so great. So there two. That's two things that just came, Holly, when you just said that when you asked before about you know why would you want it is um, cold brew is one is it doesn't have the bitterness mm -hmm. of hot brewed coffee. Now that bitterness is great in espresso. It's great in um, a lot of just auto drip coffees. You're really looking for that. But in cold brew, there that because there's no heat, you don't get that acidic charge in the coffee. It doesn't bring the acid out. So it's a very, very smooth flavor. Um, and it's a great fitness drink for that reason. A lot of people that drink our cold brew really favor it. A, we don't put sweetener or dairy in it, but they really favor it because it doesn't have that acidity. And so, like you said, it's easy on your stomach, mm -hmm. easy yep. for, your, mm -hmm. for your fitness routine. Gotcha. So and good. it's a great antioxidant. Coffee is an amazing antioxidant. Yep. You know, you, 
blue zones, whatever it is your favorite, yeah. you know, yeah. it's longevity in a bottle. That's it. Yeah. So, I believe it. So we have a couple uh, questions coming in. Sure. One uh, is a comment uh, saying, love Red Thread, good, Dreamy is my jam. Um, and then we have Bridget's asking, um, again, because she just tuned in, how do you make the concentrate? Yes, so the secret actually is ages old. So okay. India, Japan, many cultures have been making cold brew coffee for centuries, mm -hmm. right? You literally put coarse ground coffee in cold water overnight, presto changeo, next day you've got your coffee. That comes at, depending on if you get the ratio right, it's concentrate. Mm -hmm. So what you get in the morning is concentrate and you can then dilute it as you like. Okay. It does have more caffeine than coffee you brew hot typically and the ratio that you put it in, you can get a more concentrated brew. Well, that's good. Um, yep. exactly. <laughs> Listen, we do have no, Nothing in moderation, that, you know, ladies and gentlemen, nothing this, in moderation. We put the concentrate in <laughs> kegs in offices on tap. It looks a little like Guinness but you're having it for breakfast. That's so, awesome. <laughs> I think we can get on board with yeah, that. Yeah, we yeah, could, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll bring that with you next time. <laughs> um, but it's, it's a, so then you, when you have the concentrate, like Holly said, this is, you can keep it in the refrigerator. This is actually four cups of coffee. So in our 32 ounces, hmm. eight cups. So one for each day and two on, you know, Monday. Right, <laughs> yeah, when yes. you need it the most. Yes, amen. Uh, and just one more of, uh, just for people that are tuning in now, sure. Um, sure. where can they purchase this? Sure, so first of all, online. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're actually redoing our website right now, but at redthreadgood.com, you can buy from us um, cold brew or coffees that you can brew at home hot. We have 12 ounce package bags. We also have a really special Keurig or single serve cup. Um, but cold brew, you can buy um, concentrate from us online. In, Great. in 16 or in 32. The ready to drink and the concentrates we have in markets all around the tri-state area and soon the entire United States. Yeah. That's, the, that's Domin the vision. Domination. There you go. Right. And a percentage of and the profit goes back. we sell a serving, literally every serving. So this guy's four servings, mm -hmm. right? So, you know, this guy's one, right? And our, our 32 is, um, is, is eight. Um, but our bag is like 30, you know, more than 30 servings. So each time it varies. And that's just one way that we, you know, we make it sort of special because it's about what you do every day. It's not about what we're doing as a company. It's about the consumer. Everything you do every day has an impact and we give back each time. And the charity is? In the case of New York, it's mm -hmm. God's Love We Deliver. Um, out in the Hampton, there's a, out in the Hamptons, it's a food pantry that we're working with and we're selecting right now in uh, New Jersey and in Connecticut and we'd love to get your folks involved in that. It would be really, really That's exciting. That's huge, yeah. Yeah. yeah, awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Great, I'm gonna steal. Go for Another it. sip. <laughs> so, very unprofessional, okay. but I can't help myself. Forgive me, but I do see some situation yes. here. <laughs> no forgiveness. We yes. Maybe we should talk well, about this. Well, so. one thing we're going to put back on the website when it's up is we have lots of recipes for cocktails. So I'm okay. so glad Yay. you jump in on that. Love it. This is our dreamy teeny set of ingredients here. So I'll slide this around. Excellent. Holly, do you want to talk about how we make this? Sure, yeah. Um, <laughs> do you so actually, we, you know, we can make one or you can, can tell the story? We can tell the story. Right? Well, the, so... <laughs> Where the Dreamies kind of are a creator, Linda Sylvester, kind of came up with this cocktail. So this is her original recipe. I should give her credit for that. Absolutely. Um, credit. But Linda, so as we deal. need to talk about the origin story of yeah, how we got started. Totally. Yes. But yeah. so she kind of concocted this um, herself, and it's basically <laughs> two. Uh, it's about give or take two ounces of the concentrate. Um, I think it's an ounce and a half of the vodka and one ounce of the Kahlua. Okay. Shake it over ice, and you've got the best coffee martini ever. Excellent. Ever. Mm -hmm. And it's really a chocolate coffee martini because it's dreamy. Right. Yeah. Um, we would do, we would dreamy do kind teeny, of right? dreamy teeny. Dreamy teeny. It's the dreamy teeny. <laughs> the only. The only. Um, exactly. <laughs> Often imitated. <laughs> and, uh, um, something fun too that we would do, we would do art openings and things like um, in the right. store with these things and we would add a little bit of half and half and shake it. It's like... Oh, Killer yeah. Yeah. Um, but you can really, I mean, that's the cool thing. She has a, a Manhattan recipe that I think we're going to put up too, yeah, like yeah. a chocolate Manhattan, oh, which is delicious. amazing. One so, of my favorite things is Sambuca cool. and Dreamy. No. It's a, re a Dreamy Buca, it's really good. With a couple of coffee bit. beans in there? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Amazing. The, like contra that. the concentrate makes amazing cocktails. What a yeah. good idea. Yeah. Is and the, yeah. Is there a uh, decaf version? There is. Oh, thank God. Which is really great. I'm so glad you bring that yeah. up. Because <laughs> that was from Melanie, who's right watching now, right now. Live. Seriously? Yeah. So, yeah, we um, we were the first to start. There's a couple of companies that are now doing decaf, but we right now do Dreamy Decaf, 
which is again partly an homage to the cocktail recipes because you know you don't really want caffeine and vodka it's, there's a lot going on yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like or do or do you <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah it's exactly <laughs> in the evening it's better to have right. a decaf and it's a really spectacular we're going to do more um we'll do more decaf so by all means where there's demand supply will follow so we're happy Great. to do more decaf nice. Um, but we're really excited about that one. And, and let me just build on what um, Holly said about how we got started. Can we talk a little bit about that? Sure. Um, so Linda Sylvester has a store in Sag Harbor and everybody should go there. She has the most <laughs> amazing, um, she calls it home furnishings, but it's just an extraordinary store for all kinds of little amazing things that you can find that are very clever. And you could buy a couch too. If you would <laughs> and there's a coffee bar with red thread on tap, we should mention. And that's what happened. The first that, tappers. You know, yeah, the first tappers. The first tap. She okay. wanted to provide an amazing experience for the people in her home furnishing store. And she started tinkering with coffee and made this amazing cold brew following the great legendary brewers in the Far East and put it on tap in the back of the store. And people were literally lining up to get the coffee. Using their mind. <laughs> like, yeah. right. Bicycling in from yeah. you know far away on, on Saturdays yeah. and Sundays and weekdays and every day that's a good beach day, um, especially in the summer. So, um, so the tappers are flowing back there. It's Memorial Day. Um, and Linda, Linda is one of our three co-founders. It's Linda Sylvester who uh, asked uh, Michelle Francis and, and Vivian Pollack um, who's the president of the company I was mentioning earlier to join her and getting the company started and here we are. So great. From a small idea in the back yeah. of the store where people were really enjoying their experience shopping to a national coffee brand. Excellent. Inspirational. Excellent. Led by three women too. Yeah, three women co-founders, yep. me, Holly, but you know the story with us, diversity is really what's important. You know, we are all women but we are a very diverse team. So. And, and, uh, and it's really, really exciting um, to, to grow it for, in that way. What an awesome story. Thank you so much for joining us. We're excited. Thanks, so, for, having thanks for having yeah, us. Yeah, and where can we get, can we get that keg installed in our house? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to follow up, for sure. We brought for an sure. order form. We brought an order form. We're happy to have it here with you. Well, Something. thank you so much for coming, guys. Um, thanks for having us. Everyone go out and get a cold brew. It is so good. Right, good. You're awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks, thanks guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you.